Step 2, Modeling. Let's take a quick look at how we will model this chair and open the preset 3.2 modeling steps view in the Navigator view map. We have already created this simple 2D side elevation sketch of the object using ARCHICAD's standard 2D tools. The side elevation of the chair will serve construction aid purposes and greatly speed up the work. We will model the chair in three steps. First, we'll create the mainframes, then the bracings, and finally the seating. All these elements will be created with ARCHICAD's standard slab tool. Let's start the modeling with the chair frames and open the preset 3.3 model the frames view from the view map. Activate the slab tool from the toolbox and open its settings dialog. Click the favorites button at the top and select the preset mainframe entry from the list and hit the apply button. Now with a single click we've loaded all the necessary slab settings, geometry, materials and so on that we want to use for the chair frame. Zoom in to the external contour line of the main frame and hold down the space key to activate the magic wand function. The smart cursor will immediately change to a magic wand indicating that ARCHICAD is ready to automatically trace the silhouette of any polygon. Move the cursor towards the external contour line of the frame until the smart cursor indicates that a polygon has been found. Click now to create a slab with the contour of the frame polygon. Zoom out and notice that the slab is solid at the moment. Select the slab and zoom in again close to the frame. Hold down the space key again to activate the magic wand and click now on the internal frame polygon to cut a hole into the selected slab. Zoom out and activate the drag a copy option from the context menu. Click twice to the very same location to create an additional copy at the very same place where the original frame is. Activate the Edit Move Elevate command now to change the elevation height of the selected frame. Enter 540 millimeters in the Elevate dialog and hit OK to proceed. Open the 3D window now to investigate the results in 3D. Let's continue the work by modeling the bracings of the chair. Let's activate the 3.4 Model the Bracings preset view from the view map. Open the Slab Settings dialog and hit the Favorites button. Select Bracing 01 from the Favorites list and hit Apply to load these as default slab settings. Return to the Plan view and zoom in to the polygon of one of the bracings of the first type. Hold down the Space key to activate the magic wand and click the polygon once to create a bracing slab here. Zoom out and repeat the same steps for the other bracing as well that belong to type 1. Use the magic wand to create a slab with the contours of the polygon. Once you are finished, 
Open the Slab Settings dialog again and select Bracing 2 from the Favorites list and apply these as default slab settings. Return to the floor plan and zoom in to the contour of the last bracing and use the magic wand to turn this 2D polygon into a 3D bracing slab. Open the 3D window to investigate the design development in 3D. Let's complete the modeling work by creating the seating of the chair and activate the 3.5 Model the Seating preset view from the view map. Open the Slab Settings dialog and hit the Favorites button. Select Seating from the Favorites list and hit Apply to load these as default slab settings. Return to the Plan view and zoom into the contour line of the seating. Activate the magic wand with the help of the space key and change the 2D polygon of the seating into a 3D object with a single click. Zoom out of the floor plan and then activate the 3D view to see the results in 3D. Alvar Alto's Paimio chair is available with hollow and solid seating options. In this lesson we modeled the solid one. If you prefer the hollow one, continue the design and model the seating with curved walls and place empty openings in it.